Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn how to model and render a modern style house in Blender and Cycles with as little modeling as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I started any 3D modeling, I downloaded reference images from the internet. I also used this IQPack add-on that comes with Blender 2.79. At the time of recording it was not available in Blender 2.8, so I had to do all my modeling in Blender 2.79. So with my reference images downloaded, I went ahead and added it as a background image to my Blender viewport. To do that, hit Shift A, Empty, then Image. Then I chose the lower floor reference image and placed it a little bit lower on the Z axis. I then duplicated that one and then uh, added the, another reference image for the upper floor. In the empty settings, I went ahead and then changed uh, the um, transparency of the upper floor and then transposed it over the lower floor to ensure that it was in line with the lower floor reference. Now with the Archipack add-on enabled, I went ahead and pressed T on my keyboard to open up the toolbar on the left hand side and then I clicked wall to start adding my wall. The add-on has some handy manipulators to allow us to customize the look of our wall. So we can change its width, we can change its length, we can add more connecting walls uh, quite easily. You can hit the N key on your keyboard to see the right side of the toolbar if it isn't already opened. And then you'll see a list of all the customizations you can make. So in this case, um, I went ahead and clicked manipulate on the right side toolbar. Then I'll see these arrows over here. Any part of the arrow that's white can be manipulated. So I then use those arrows to uh, fit it in line with the reference. On the right side of the toolbar, I then uh, added parts. So just move the slider of the parts and keep increasing them and fitting them to the reference. If it's in the wrong uh, orientation, you can uh, adjust it by left click and dragging the, the direction arrows or just changing the degrees directly by typing. But make sure it's red colored when you're about to edit it. Now I just pretty much went around and um, added parts and changed the rotation and then filled up by hitting close. So now what I did was I went ahead and added a floor for my house and it was just a simple tiled floor. Didn't really make much customizations, just increased the scale and uh, duplicated two smaller tile areas for the left and right side of the back. Then I selected all three of the floors, then hit Shift D to duplicate, and then I moved it up to the next floor. I kept the height of the floor about 2.7 meters, so I had to move the floor 2.7 meters up on the Z axis. I then created walls for the third floor, which would then finish off with the roof on top. I then clicked ceiling to cover off uh, the top of the walls. If you've modeled a house by yourself by hand, you'll know just how painful it is to model roofs. Now the Archipack add-on allows us to create almost any kind of roof that you can think of. You just have to play around with the sliders, adjust it uh, to the way you want it to look, you can change the slope, you can change how long it is, you can change how many parts of the roof that you want to have, whether there's bends or curves. You can even customize uh, the look of the roof tiles, whether you want square tiles, diamond tiles, uh, the typical house tiles, pretty much anything. So for my case, I just simply created a, a one-sided roof and um, I pretty much called that done. Next up, the windows. So here I just added a simple window and then I adjusted the look of the window by choosing how many panels, how many rows. For my case, I just I didn't need any panels or rows. Just a simple window was good enough for me uh, with a height that goes from the ground all the way to the ceiling. Modern houses have really large windows that cover uh, um, pretty much the entire floor uh, so that a lot of light can come in. So once I was happy with the look of my window, I then went ahead and saved it as a preset in the Archipack add-on. 
once I was happy with my window, I then went ahead and pretty much started drawing windows on top of my wall. So to do that, on the left side of the toolbar, instead of clicking window, click the little pencil icon right next to it. And then you can pretty much draw on your walls. By doing so, it, the wall will cut a hole in place of your window and put your window right there. So you don't have to worry about cutting holes and things like that in your walls. It, the Archipack add-on will do it automatically for you. You just have to worry about adjusting how large, how um, wide, how pretty much how your window looks. Don't need to care about any of the other details. So once I was happy, I pretty much started using the pencil tool like crazy and I uh, drew windows all over the house uh, to match the reference. This was the part that took the longest for me, but actually this was the most fun part as well for me, as I had a lot of creative freedom to choose how I wanted my windows to look and where I wanted it to be placed. And although it is quite long, uh, it is much quicker compared to having to manually add windows yourself, because uh, just the process of cutting uh, windows through the walls manually takes a lot of time. And luckily, uh, this add-on makes everything really, really easy for us. So as you can see, I'm moving back and forth from my reference image to see if everything's looking okay. Nearer to the roof, uh, there's a bit of an empty space over there. So I just went into edit mode and moved those vertices up to match the roof. At this point, after observing my reference, I realized that the upper floor windows were a little bit too big. So I just changed the height across all of them to be about 2 meters and moved them up a bit. The back part of the house was not too important for me, so I didn't really follow the reference here. I mostly just eyeballed it. But if you're creating a house more for uh, architectural purposes, like you want to do architectural visualization or you uh, work in real estate and you want to show off to a, uh, a prospective client or something, then you probably better follow the reference 100%. But I'm just doing it purely just for rendering and art purposes, so I, I guess I have a bit of freedom to choose how I want my house to look and where I want my windows to be placed.
And note that I was also using the free version of the Archipack add-on. The paid version uh, costs a bit more, but uh, the paid version obviously would come with a lot more cool features that the free version doesn't have. The free version also comes with some handy features to create stairs, so you can create and customize the look of your stairs. Uh, you can also create doors as well. But the paid version might have some more features like you can add kitchen cabinets uh, and some other house related uh, items. The Archi Mesh add-on that's also available in Blender 2.79 also has some other cool models that you can try out as well. So you can combine the best of both worlds. You can use Archi Pack and Archi Mesh to uh, create cool uh, features for your house with as little modeling effort as possible. Alright, so that at this point the house is pretty much complete. I then went ahead and added uh, the, the floor that will surround the house in general. In other words, just the outdoor flooring. So I chose this sort of a brick styled uh, look for the ground. And I just scaled it up to surround the entire house. And at this point I pretty much called it done. I then hit the A key on my keyboard or the box select key to select all the uh, house elements and then hit Ctrl G to put it into a group and then saved it uh, as a Blender file. Then in Blender 2.8 I then hit File, Append and then uh, looked for the file that I saved in Blender 2.79 and then uh, under Collections I selected the house elements. That's how I imported it into Blender 2.8. Then in Blender 2.8, I went ahead and added a bevel modifier to the ground to further uh, show off that uh, brick texture. I also went ahead and applied all the modifiers to the walls uh, so that it will leave a permanent hole where the windows will be. So now I cannot make any adjustments to the walls. So at this point, it should be final all your window placements and all your doors and anything that cuts through the wall. So at this point it's pretty much done but I wanted to do one more thing. I just selected the top uh, round of uh, edges and I duplicated it and brought it around halfway and then I just um, extruded it down a little bit and then filled uh, the top faces and the bottom faces as well to add that little ring around uh, the middle of the house. I accidentally skipped it during the modeling phase. So after playing around a bit with the tweaking of the model and also tweaking the shading of the viewport, the modeling of my house was complete. Well, not my house, the, the house that I copied off the internet. And I got something that looks like that. So that's it. In the next video, we'll look at how I textured and rendered uh, this house for rendering in both Eevee and Cycles. Thanks for watching.